Hey, it's Random Code here, and today in this video, I'm going to showcase Tic Tac Toe Game where we play against an AI. So, if I want to start the game, just click Restart, and a first move is then played by the AI. I can then play my move, and we then play against the AI. In this case, for example, I'm going to run draw. Let's see if we can let the AI win if I'm not too smart. I would do something like this, and the AI won. So, how this works, there's kind of two parts of it. So in my last video, I talked about this AI component and discussed like all the basic concept, but just a quick explanation is it work in the way that we have an AI, which takes in a bot state, for example, this state, and it then calculates all possible moves from this state. And then for each position on the board, it could make a move and it then calculates, does this move lead to a win, a draw or loss game state? If it leads to a win, we just take the first move that leads to a win. If there's no wins, we take the first move that leads to a draw. And preferably, it should never lead to a loss because the AI should be able to always win. Or at least draw, because tic tic toe game. If both players are playing perfectly, it should always be a draw. So that's the basic concept. And it is using adversarial search, which just means it's an AI that takes in a state makes a move, let the opponent make a move, and then keeps going. So it's kind of like an AI that plays against an opponent, like in this game with the ticket show. And then more specifically, so then calculate all these next moves to calculate which move is the next best move, would use minimax search. So if you want to learn more about this AI component, you should look up minimax search, or have a look at my last video where I talked about this concept of this AI setup, at least in more detail. But for now, this is the game, and I would then like to showcase how the setup inside JavaFX and how we connect this AI component to our JavaFX to actually have it work with this graphical user interface. So as mentioned, it's kind of separate the AI components and my JavaFX setup, but I have this tic-tac-toe package, which can say all the AI stuff, where I have my adversarial search tic-tac-toe, have the main which is to play the against the AI inside my command line so it's not used and I have a state setup which just defines the state of the board. Inside my Java fix setup I then have a few setups. I have my random because I'm using some randomization to get the random first move to make the game a bit different this time. I then have an array list of all the buttons. We then have this adversarial search tic tic toe object which is the object we then use send the bot state and it then returns which move to make next based on all these AI calculations. We then have all these buttons, which are all of these, which then add all the buttons inside initialize to my buttons array list, which is used later on example to give the state to the AI. We then for each button set up the button using a setup button method, which is very simply defines that on button click, the button should turn its text to an O, disable the button and then make an AI move, and then check if the game is over. So whenever I make a move, I turn this button into an O, I disable this button, and the AI then makes its move. And if we have a look at make AI move, it just simply takes our tick to toe AI, call min max decision based on the board state. So board state, we go through all the buttons and add them to a list called board, which is a string array of just X's and O's or empty strings. We turn this string array as a state or minimax decision method inside our text to AI, which then returns an index, just a number in this case, of which of the buttons it would like to make its next move on. And we then pick this button by setting the text of this button to an X and disabling it as well. So it kind of looks like the AI is also making the moves similar to the player would. We then also have our restart button, which is the button down here that when clicked, simply go through each of the buttons in our buttons array list and then call reset button on them which simply just make them undisabled and clear the text and we set the winner text back to just text toe so if we had a winner we just reset the text and we then pick a button for our AI so we call the pick button method again which just simply takes a button and in this case sets it to X and it's just a random button because AI works in the way that the first move of the AI would always be in the top left corner because the AI calculates that the first move doesn't matter, because 
Any first move should lead to a draw if both players always play the best, which is what the AI assumes. So it doesn't really make a first move, we just say we put it anywhere because it doesn't matter, we should end up in a draw anyway, but because it's playing against a human, the humans sometimes make mistakes and it's more interesting if we start with a different board state. But technically from the perspective of the AI, it doesn't matter which move it makes first because all moves should lead to a draw anyway. Assuming both players are playing perfectly. We then reset all our buttons if we click reset button. And that's pretty much the basics of it. And then we simply have our check if game is over, which is simply goes over through all the button combinations. Check if the first row, all the columns, all the diagonals are either XXX or OOO. And in case it's either of these, we have the AI win or the player win in this case. So that is pretty much the setup of our JavaFX using this adversarial search minimax search for our AI. If you enjoyed my quick demonstration of this AI game inside JavaFX using an adversarial search and more specifically minimax search, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.